You come to the Gladiators last year straight out of Mercyhurst. You make 10 starts with Atlanta, and you really endeared yourself to the fan base. You won your first professional start against the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. And correct me if I'm wrong, but that was the night after night after you got in, or you got in that morning? What was, what was that? Yeah, like I got you? in. So played Mercyhurst. Uh, our game ended Saturday night. We got knocked out of playoffs. Um, spent some time with the seniors and coaches that night. Um, and then – Basically, Piler calls me and he's like, hey, like we need a guy. Can you get down here? And I'm like, I've been mean, fresh off the loss. And I'm like, man, I'm kind of banged up, whatever it is. Um, it's been a long season already. And I'm like, and then everyone's like, it's a great opportunity. You got to go. So I'm like, all right, we're coming. And then I get in late Monday and then he's just go to the ring Tuesday. He's like, you're starting tonight. And then I was just like, all right, we're off and running. You faced off against a pretty high-powered Greenville Swamp Rabbits offense. Just were you able to really grasp what you were feeling that night, or did it take some time to really settle? Um, I honestly didn't feel much, which was probably the best thing for me, just because it was just jump right in and go, don't think. Um, and sometimes that's good. So, but I mean, afterwards it kind of settled in, and it was awesome. And then I think my parents came down and surprised me at a game too shortly after, which was awesome. So. And then we fast forward to the <laughs> final home game of the 2022-23 regular season. That's against the Florida Everblades, who were right on the precipice of completing their back-to-back -back Kelly Cup championships. Tyler, you shut them out. Uh, a huge win for the Gladiators, your first professional shutout. How was that? Uh, that was awesome. Um, and same thing. I mean, me, I think it was Wally, and then there might have been a few other guys who came in at the end of the year and kind of like i think it was piler said like we got these young guys coming in and giving us a jump and like i mean i'm looking at wally i'm like well i'm not that young i'm 25. <laughs> <laughs> um and wally i think is 24 or whatever it is but um yeah i think all the guys were playing hard for me too and we were still i think at that point like there was still mathematically a chance to get into playoffs mm -hmm. and we were trying to make a push for that so all the guys were playing big blocking shots making big plays so even so, though he got your age wrong, how does it feel for someone like Jeff Pyle, who's just such a legend in the hockey community, to just acknowledge you and to acknowledge Mitch Bolinsky just for the effort that you guys were putting in, again, only in a small sample size, um, again, in your first you know, pro environment? Yeah, no, it was good. And Pyler was awesome all the way till the end. And still, he's around the locker room now and loves kind of shooting the breeze with the guys and joking <laughs> around. So it's awesome to have him around. So going through that first career shutout, what was that experience like? Did you like black out? Did you just like keep playing your game or did you like, what's that like? I don't know. I feel like sometimes if you think about it or like, you're kind of like, man, we got a shutout going like, or like sometimes guys will say like the word shutout and you're like, oh dude, like you can't say that. Um, but I don't know. I just try to keep it in wraps and play my game. I try to do that as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There wasn't really too much going through my head. And not only do you get your first uh, pro shutout during that game, Cody Sylvester actually got a hat trick in that game as well um, for the Gladiators. So just a pretty epic night overall. So Tyler, we will transition from you over back to Alex now. And I'm curious, Alex, we go to the off season where you have an opportunity uh, to sign with an ECHL team and you join the Gladiators. Um, I, I'm wondering, does your past relationship with Tyler, did that have an impact on whether you wanted to sign here or not? And if not, what were some of the other reasons that kind of made Atlanta? Um, a place that you want it to be um yeah i mean tyler definitely i mean he was basically being my agent uh, was this he? summer okay uh, <laughs> at one point yeah. i wanted to ask that but not directly <laughs> ask that so i'm happy i got that out of you yeah so um yeah when i was just going through teams there was like a few teams calling me and um tyler ended up just texting me and was just like hey like um our coach was asking about you like would you be willing to come here and i was just like yeah like uh, i'll talk to him and like i was kind of I talked to some other teams and I was just kind of like not really like excited about it. And then like first phone call I took from Nezzy, I was just like really like he just fired me up and I was like, wow, that was a great phone call. Pretty long phone call, but I was like, I, I really like that guy and that's who I want to play for. And then, I mean, we pretty much, we figured that out like a week later, I think I signed. So it was, it was pretty quick after that. Mm -hmm. um, I think I knew pretty much right away when I talked to Nezzy that this was where I wanted to be. And I mean, I love it so far.